diaphragm is coming down. So if I have my rib cage here and my pelvic floor here, when I inhale, my diaphragm is coming down and my pelvic floor is coming down. And when I exhale, my pelvic floor should lift and my diaphragm should ascend. So inhale and exhale. So like even just seeing that visual for some people is a game changer of the breath, okay? So if I'm lying on my back, I can feel that there's a reference from the ground, right? So I can feel the air go into the ground, all right? I have this block between my legs. I'm gonna put my hands on my ribs and I'm gonna inhale all the way down. And I'll always say, inhale to your asshole. So all the way down to your asshole, all the way down to your vagina if you've got one. And then exhale, you're gonna start from the bottom, a little mini lift of the pelvic floor or a gentle Kegel. You're gonna squeeze on this block and you're gonna think about your hip bones drawing towards each other and emptying the air from the bottom up. We're gonna go over this so many times, you're gonna to wanna to punch me in the face. Inhale all the way down. All the way down, exhale, squeeze on that block. Think about your hip bones drawing towards each other. And exhale, empty the air from the bottom up. So the rib cage is gonna come in and back last, okay? I'm literally inhaling all the way down, squeezing on that block to initiate the contraction from the pelvic floor. I'm starting to exhale. And then the rib cage comes down. So there's a lot more to it than just this. You're gonna inhale through your nose. You're gonna exhale through your mouth and you're gonna play around with whether you like a purse lift exhale, like blowing through a straw or you like a long sighing exhale, like you were fogging up a mirror. So you decide which one feels better. And you're gonna get that exhale to be twice as long as your inhale. For you, I want you to practice 10 to 20 repetitions of the breath a couple times before I'm back in your inbox next week. See you soon.